organics. We started composting food waste back in 2009. We increased that food waste composting in 2012, and now we're composting not only pre-consumer food waste, but post-consumer food waste as well. In doing so, we've noticed how much post-consumer food waste there is. Since then, we've started this brand, Full Service Organics. The brand is an opportunity for students to engage in reducing their food waste, feeding hungry people, and helping the environment. Our food recovery hierarchy here at St. John's has a lot of different moving pieces. We have our student sustainability coordinators who go around to all the different dining halls and kitchens on campus. The food service workers on campus help us a lot by scraping the leftover food as well as collecting the pre-consumer food waste as they cook. The food is then collected from all the buildings and brought right here where we weigh it on our scale so we can keep statistics on how much waste the university is generating. Now we go through about 750 pounds of post-consumer a day and 250 pounds of pre-consumer a day for about three and a half tons weekly that we process and take up to our composting facility. We campaign to reduce this waste as much as possible. We're reducing waste to feed hungry people. So about four months ago, we got involved with the Food Recovery Network. Uh, we're now a chapter with the Food Recovery Network. It's when all our units have leftover food. Our students come, they pick it up, they drive it to a church, and they actually give it to the needy. All our staff is involved. All the staff is always constantly looking at trying to save unwanted food that we can't utilize here but can be utilized somewhere else. So around two years ago, IDP was introduced here at St. John's University. It's in perfectly delicious produce. This is a little bit of produce that has been chopped too small that they can't utilize in the supermarket or in the farmer's market. So we bring it here at St. John's University just so it doesn't go into a landfill. We're here today to do academic service learning hours and get the word out to help reduce food waste. St. John's is involved in the EPA's Food Recovery Program, and we're here to tell students to reduce the volume of surplus food that is generated. With the food that students don't take on a daily basis, we can freeze it and bring it over to the Food Recovery Network that's right here in Queens. And if students take more than they can eat on their plate, we ask them simply to compost, and that compost material is spread out all throughout campus. For four weeks now, St. John's has been campaigning to reduce food waste. Students scrape their plate, pledge to reduce food waste, and are offered a free raffle ticket towards winning a free bike. After four weeks of talking to students, my biggest takeaway was how receptive they were to the campaign. They don't throw food out at home, so why would they throw it out here? And we had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> We're reducing waste to help the environment. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do to fulfill my academic service learning hours, but once I went to Lord's Hall and I looked at the different flyers and the different opportunities that there were just right here on campus, I knew that I wanted to get involved in fighting food waste and feeding hungry people. To students who don't realize just how much food is wasted uh, per day, in about 1,000 pounds a day is being wasted from the food that people don't usually clean off their plates. And once we collect this food, we turn it into compost, which in turn goes out to help the environment. Well, I've become more conscious and aware of the food that I put on my plate and what I consume, and just taking the food that I can eat and I know that I won't be able to waste. I want to thank you because of the food recovery program that we've initiated, now concluded in four weeks time. We recovered and we reduced the post-consumer food waste because of the student involvement by about 700 pounds a week. Thank you, and thank you for recovering food waste every day in the pre-consumer and the post-consumer food waste. You guys are awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. We're making compost with our food waste. We collect and pulp food waste every single day at St. John's. In the green here, you see our post-consumer food waste, food off of students' plates. And in the blue, you see pre-consumer food waste, things like fruit peels and vegetable trimmings that we collect from all the kitchens. The, the food waste pulper is absolutely essential to what we do in terms of composting our organic food waste. Without it, we wouldn't be able to keep up with the sheer volume and weight of the, of the food that we collect. The, the pulper chops up the food as it falls through a chute and takes the water out of it, reducing the volume and weight by about 80%. Which allows us to more efficiently and effectively transport it to the garden 
and use it to make our compost. And so basically what it starts out is a food pulp brought over from one of the cafeterias and it comes out looking like a very chopped up raw food source. And additionally, they want to use some unbroken down mulch that would not necessarily might get uh, removed from the campus. So it's a chance to recycle any products that they would use on campus. When the compost goes through its ASP or aerated static process, all of any potential pathogen and or weed seed would be killed because the temperature extreme goes above 131 degrees. After that cycle lasts a minimum of three days, the material will then go through what we call a thermal cycle, which will last another 14 to 16 days. And the whole process can be completed in about 24 to 28 days. From there, we get what looks like a dark brown, really coarse kind of looking compost. Not very clean looking, but it, it has this earthy smell. And to finish out, then you have this beautiful, beautiful material. We like to call it black gold. And black gold is what we want to put back onto the plants. The plants grow and are happy with that. Uh, biology gives us strong biology in the soil. And it's really the completion of the cycle uh, here at St. John's. What we've learned is that our compost tea is an excellent, excellent way to add a concentrated levels of biology into the soil. And we're talking about the definition of compost tea is a very concentrated liquid representation of compost that the students have made here at St. John's. And this compost tea will actually brew for 24 hours and then it's going to be pumped into a sprayer and then applied to the community garden and also we're using this compost tea to help with the landscape management on the campus as well. We're reducing waste to change the culture. Morning. Welcome to Academic Service Learning Day at the Student Community Garden at St. John's University. Today we're going to have a whole bunch of energetic volunteers till the garden over and get it ready for planting. The food that we produce here goes to the Bread and Life Kitchen in Brooklyn. We can thank the students for prepping the garden, harvesting the garden, and getting the vegetables to a place where it would be needed. And I appreciate everyone showing up to prep the garden for what I hope is going to be a great, bountiful year. The Student Community Garden here at St. John's University is a garden that's created by and for students. We can come here on a daily basis to unwind after a long stressful day of classes and get away from the hustle and bustle of being in New York City. Today we have 40 plus students who came out to volunteer and fulfill their academic service learning hours. So behind me, you see a plethora of students working in the garden, turning over the soil and getting it ready for the planting season. I love to come here every Saturday just to meditate and reflect on the week that I just had and really think about the next week to come. And it really helps just being out here in the fresh air, working with the soil, planting, and knowing that it's all going to a great cause. Before we instituted our full service organics program here at St. John's, the university wasted thousands of pounds of coffee grounds, food waste, leaves and yard trimmings. And once we implemented this program, we took all of that, create an organic garden that gave us the ability to grow thousands of pounds of vegetables each summer to donate to the St. John's Bread and Life Food Pantry, as well as other soup kitchens and organizations in the community. Here at St. John's, we're very proud of the work we've done to make ourselves a more sustainable campus, and we're way ahead of, of the curve on this. There's upcoming New York State Legislature that is going to mandate that all large producers of organics and food waste will have to find a different way to dispose of it other than putting it in a landfill. And for the past several years, we've been doing just that, using our compost system to eliminate all organic waste on campus. Working in sustainability has taught me a lot about how we can live efficiently and effectively in a really urban environment like this. I come from a more sparsely populated area where things like composting is more commonplace. But when you come to a place like New York, it's, it's a lot more difficult to, to keep up on things like that. So through this program, I've really learned that just looking at things through a sustainable lens and just small tweaks and changes in behavior, how large of an impact that can have on 
your yourself, your community, and the the larger community around you.